This video is brought to you by Anchor. You know, I think it's safe to say the iPhone has come a long way over the past few years and the iPhone 15 Pro Max is a demonstration of this gradual advancement. I think it's the best smartphone on the market right now. Maybe you don't, but regardless, because I think this, that is why I pair it with the best smartphone accessories I can find as of 2024. All right, so first up, I have an Anchor MagGo 3-in-1 charger here, and I have it in a black variant. It also comes in a white variant as well, and I think this thing looks fantastic. It's super sexy, crafted really thoughtfully, and it also feels super nice in the hand. You have aluminum here, so metal, high-quality plastic, and um, I think it fits the aesthetic of Apple products really, really well, which is what you're going to be using with it to charge them, obviously. And as you can tell, it's super compact when folded up as well. You can throw it in a pocket. It's also about the same size as a Magic Mouse and about the same weight as an iPhone 15 Plus. This charger is also, as Anchor puts it, doubly fast, meaning that it charges your phone at an output of 15 watts compared to the more typical seven and a half watts. So even in this tiny, compact, foldable form factor, you're charging your phone twice as fast as you normally would with competing accessories. And as you can tell, this is a MagSafe attachment situation, so it works perfectly with Apple MagSafe compatible phones and charges your phone just as fast as a OEM MagSafe charger would directly from Apple. And as the name suggests, beyond charging your iPhone, you can also charge your Apple Watch of choice and your AirPods with a wireless charging case of choice, of course. And I love this. I do this on a daily basis. And the fact that it folds up into such a compact little form factor is so impressive. So yeah, you can do all of this. Um, um, it's a must have if you are an Apple person like I am with all the devices and you want to keep everything charged and ready to go in the morning, whether you're at home or away, which I will be momentarily in like a few hours. Um, and a little metric I'll share, this can charge an Apple Watch Series 9 from 0 to 47% in just 30 minutes. So yeah, all in all, great uh, portable and also at-home charger ready to go for whatever you want to do. And of course, it just folds up so nicely and looks fantastic. And before I forget to mention, it also works great for using your iPhone in standby mode when charging. All right, next up, we have another Anchor product, the Anchor MagGo Power Bank. And as you can see here, it's a little chipped up and scuffed uh, because I've been using it over the past couple weeks since I got it. It's a real lifesaver. But first up, it comes in a few color variants, um, black, green, blue, violet, and white that I have here, which goes really nicely with my white titanium 15 Pro Max. And this product is an absolute godsend. Like I said, I've been using it, abusing it. It has really come in handy when I'm out and about, you know, even at home with access to a charger. But today I'm going to be traveling. This is going to be in my pocket pocket ready to charge my phone as I'm using navigation and cellular network and whatever without access to a charger readily until I land in New York and get to my hotel room so this is a real lifesaver I had a previous version of the of, of one of these it's like a smaller one um, not as advanced which I lost and I've been suffering without it so when I got this I was really happy to have this it's super high tech and beefy here and just like the power station or charging station it's doubly fast charging your phone at 15 watts opposed to seven and a half which is nice you can charge your phone in a pinch and then take this off and put it away and unlike the other anchor variant that I had it has this six smart display on the side here which tells you of course your capacity but also how long you have left time wise to use it while it's charging your phone and when this is plugged in it'll tell you how long you have left till this is fully charged so it gives you a lot of information beyond just the battery capacity much better than a few uh, LED indicators or even just a percentage which is pretty cool and as for the battery capacity, this thing is packing 10,000 milliamp hours, which is nothing to scoff at. It can charge an iPhone 15 Pro two times over, and I'd wager my phone, the 15 Pro Max, about one and a half times over, maybe a little more, which is super impressive because this thing lasts a long time as it is. So the fact that I can just have this plus another one or another iPhone 15 Pro Max, you know, amount of capacity plus half of that in my pocket and not just as a power bank, but you know, something that seamlessly integrates with the product. Um, it's super helpful and impressive. But what's nice though, is that you can use this also as a traditional power bank because you have 27 watt, you know, fast charging output here with this USB-C port, which is super impressive if you want to charge not only your iPhone, but something else more quickly. Um, and also too, it has 20 watt input, meaning you can charge this up pretty quickly as well once you're done uh, using it or draining its capacity. But wait, there's more, just one more thing. We have a metal kickstand here, which allows you to use your phone in portrait mode and also landscape mode. So if you want to use it out and about or, you know, at home or wherever for portrait viewing or usage, or if you want to watch a movie in landscape while charging your phone, this is super helpful and solid. Love the branding on here too. So yeah, this thing is indispensable like the iPhone. So I pair them together. I'm going to have this in my pocket during my whole New York trip in a few hours here. Really happy that I have this because again, I've really been suffering without my other anchor power bank. 
All right, next up, the third accessory on my list is the Taurus O-Stand R case. And I didn't expect to fall in love with this case, let alone any case for that matter. I was trying to go caseless a few months ago, but when I got this, I knew it wasn't going anywhere for a while. First of all, I love the fact that it lets my iPhone's design show through in this translucent variant, at least, um, so I can see the side railings here, the titanium, the white backing, um, and also too, the um, material here, this metal ring, which we'll talk about, goes with the titanium um, on the iPhone as well. You also get accented buttons or the option to have that, which is great. And I love these orange ones because they go with my Apple Watch Ultras. Um, I don't know why the lasers are <laughs> happening, but um, yeah, it goes with the Apple Watch Ultra buttons. So maybe they chose that color for that specifically. Um, I happen to notice that and I love that. It also offers a lot of great protection, you know, a little lip around your display so I can drop my phone and not worry as much. And the last of, of course, you have this O-ring or O-stand R portion. I think that's what they call it. And it acts as a stand and also as sort of a pop socket or ability to grip your phone, which I really enjoy. So you can prop it up landscape like this or portrait like this. It's always integrated into the phone. It just folds up. So it's not like an extra piece. It's very flush with the back too. And you can use it as sort of a pop socket because there's like sort of, you know, time where I feel like I'm gonna drop my phone. So I just flick this out and push my fingers through. So I just have a little extra grip here, um, which is great. So yeah, I love the way this looks, feels. I love how it offers more protection. I love the accented buttons and this stand that's super well integrated and flush. Um, great case, I'll leave this link down below with everything else, of course. Beyond my case though, the fourth accessory or device that I use with my iPhone is the Apple Watch Ultra 2. Um, and I don't just have this thing just because it's bougie and the best one. I have it because the battery life is absolutely incredible. I love the concept of having a phone on your wrist, but more so it's like a safety thing. Like if I lose my phone, I have the peace of mind knowing that there is a phone attached to my wrist wherever I go. Also to the display is just giant and bright. The 3000 nits with the Ultra 2 opposed to the Ultra 1, which got 2000 nits outdoors and yeah, it's like having an iPhone on my wrist. I can type messages really uh, easily with the keyboard here. Let's see if I can pull up something. So here is a message thread with my friends. So I can type OK without even doing the swipe, without even doing predictive text or dictation. You can type really easily with this 49 millimeter display. Um, it also just looks sexy as well. I grew on me. The design didn't stick with me, you know, when this first came out, but then I saw it in person and I absolutely loved it. Watch my short and I love the bands that come with it too. So it may be for expedition people, but it's also for, you know, nerds like me that sit in the house a lot and just, you know, vibe and don't go out too much. Um, but no, I love this thing. I love the fact again that I have an iPhone on my wrist wherever I go, a miniature iPhone at that. And um, it's super fast too. The S9 chip in here um, gives you so much better Siri um, performance. So just doing simple stuff like setting timers and sending messages and playing music is way faster, even compared to the Ultra 1 and the Series 8. And last up, you get double tap here, which allows you to interact with the UI without necessarily touching your watch, of course, with the tap of your fingers, kind of like Vision OS, which is funny. Um, but yeah, I think it's useful. I don't use it all the time, um, but um, I definitely will find it more handy if they implement it with Spotify. But yeah, you can end call or sort of like, you know, stop a timer or whatever if your hands are dirty or you have your hands full. And also too, before I end this segment about this, um, I'm gonna be reviewing this soon as a really great uh, device if you're somebody with ADHD. I am like 95% sure I have a good amount of it. And the fact that I can just set timers and answer messages in a really locked down kind of mode without having my phone out is really, really great. But I digress though, that's info for another video here. The fifth accessory that I have though is the AirPods Pro 2. I'm sure you're not surprised and these have USB-C as well. This has spatial audio something going on where it works well with Vision Pro So I'm glad that I have these because I have the Vision Pro not applicable to everybody But definitely an upgrade that you're gonna want to make if you own one you've already spent four grand. What's another 250? Um, but uh, yeah, I love these these are in my pocket at all times I use them constantly for phone calls music um, the transparency mode is super helpful when it comes to focusing on work and all of that These are in my pocket and when they're they're not in my pocket, I panic. So um, I love these. They're such a well-designed product. I recommend getting the Lightning or the USB-C ones today, immediately, if you don't have them. They're, um, you know, I, I'm sure they're not like the best in every way. I'm sure Sony edges them out in some ways and other companies maybe, you know, sort of beat them out in some aspects. But overall, these are, in my opinion, the most well-rounded wireless uh, earbuds you can buy right now. They last long and um, yeah, they're in my pocket at all times and they make the iPhone experience really great for, again, listening to music, answering calls and the like. 
But anyway, last up here, my sixth and final accessory is also an audio one. This is the X600 speaker from Soundcore, an anchor company coincidentally as well. But this thing is absolutely legendary. Let me tell you, um, no day is complete without a jam sesh in the shower where I play my favorite songs and I put this in the bathroom and it is just blaring whatever music I wanted to play. Um, I love this thing. It is designed super well. It is a tank. Um, it looks fantastic as well too. You get a lot of buttons on the top here. I believe it's IPX water resistant as well. I'll leave you know a title to tell you what kind it is. Um, it's super bassy, super loud. The sound quality is absolutely impeccable. Um, and I use this also just for everyday usage if I'm around the house and I just don't want to, you know, wear AirPods. You know, sometimes they hurt my ears, so I'll just, you know, resort to this. It connects super quickly. The battery life lasts days, so I don't have to go and charge this a lot. Um, so yeah, it, it at the very least bolsters my uh, shower experience, you know, when I have enough time to play some tunes. and. Um, yeah, I use this every day with my iPhone and um, yeah, it's it's a fantastic product. I got this about a year ago, didn't expect to use it as much as I do. Um, but yeah, it is just the best wireless speaker I have ever, you know, had. And it's just, it's built so well too. It's all metal. Yeah, this thing is an absolute beast. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video here. Again, check out my links to everything in the video description, specifically to the uh, power station or charging station here and this mag. Go power bank. This thing again is such a godsend. I'm going to be using it literally in a few hours when I'm traveling to New York. Um, again, I couldn't live without the uh, 660 or whatever the other one was. I think it's the 622. Yeah, referencing my notes, you're cheating. The 622 is great. This thing is even better. And yeah, it's indispensable, just like my iPhone 15 Pro Max. And as always, I'm Noah, and I will catch you all in the next one.